How to set up SD Mate on Firestick. SD Mate is a powerful tool designed to keep your Android devices clean and tidy. While it's not available directly through the Amazon App Store, you can sideload it onto your Firestick. Follow these steps to set up SD Mate on your Firestick. First is to enable the hidden developer options menu. Go to settings then my Fire TV or device and options then select about. Click the device name until a message says, you are now a developer. Go to the Fire Stick home screen and use your remote to navigate the search icon in the menu bar. Type in Downloader. Suggestions for Downloader app will show up, choose and install. Before opening Downloader press your Fire Stick home screen and navigate to the settings icon, select My Fire TV. Click on Developer Options. Select Install Unknown Apps. Navigate to Downloader and select it to turn it on. Go to the Fire Stick home screen and use your remote to navigate to the apps icon and open Downloader. When you open the app for the first time, Click Allow to grant permission. Click OK on this quick start guide prompt. Click Home on the left sidebar, on the right, click inside the input slash text box. Enter 28907 and press Go on the on-screen keyboard. After waiting a few seconds for the App Store to load, find SD Made in Tools and press the download button. Open SD Made and grant the necessary permissions for it to access your files and storage. Follow the on-screen instructions to configure SD Made according to your preferences, you may need to give it additional permissions. Now you can press scan to start cleaning. By following these steps, you'll have SD made up and running on your Fire Stick, helping you maintain a clean and efficient device, enjoy a smoother Fire Stick experience with fewer cluttered files and optimized performance. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful content like this. If you have any questions or additional tips leave a comment below.